Hi everyone, welcome to the Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jade here at the Wedding Rooms in Kidderminster. So today we're talking survival of your wedding as in I need an emergency, I've got a kit ready. We have got everything together for an emergency kit and we've popped it all in this bag. If you watched our video which was our 15 things to do one month before the wedding, this was included in it and we did say we'd do a video on it. So we've put, this is our survival bag. Yeah. Obviously you can buy something nicer than this. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you've got to think, this is your something kind of not gone horribly wrong. It's not that big of an emergency. Calm down! Like, like, everyone stand down. But it's more about, I wish I, I need a plaster. But not get too much into it. But it's more a sense that the things we wish we'd had on our wedding day. Yeah. And little tips we've picked up along the way from our brides that we spoke to after their wedding day. So the idea is, there's lots of little bits in here. You pick your favourites, like your top five, depends yeah. how big a kit you want. In my head, I've gone, my bridesmaid's got my lipstick, so-and-so's got this. I'm not walking around with a massive suitcase. See, I, I've got everything. She's suitcase, you should see the <laughs> and size. And I'm going, no. <laughs> you should see the size of bags Jem takes when we go away for a night. It's like this. Yeah. So Jem's got basically a car full of emergency survival. Yes, bits. I feel like better off being prepared. And I think I would give this to uh, my maid of honour, or I would leave it, if I was staying at the hotel, I would leave it in my room. Yeah. So you're not rummaging around in your suitcase yeah. looking for something. Where else is it going to be? You've either got someone's carrying it around, which yeah. I don't really think that that's fair. You've got it maybe behind the bar, so you can just go, can I have my bag quickly? Yeah. My suitcase. <laughs> Here <you go. laughs> nice. Why is she such a bright dinner? <laughs> <laughs> or up in the room, so you can be like, okay, I need something out of that. Yeah. Because like, if it's a proper emergency, this is no good. <laughs> you are your own there. We do minor emergencies, yeah. I think. <laughs> so we're going to dive in, pick one at a time, Go and kind then. of see. Oh, I'm first. More is. Will Gemma read my handwriting? Oh, God. So, our oh, tissues. Now, you might get a bit teary. Yeah. It's makeup, ch like checking as well. So tissues, you go the to... the makeup, dab. Yeah, <laughs> if it's hot, dab the forehead. But it might be a little bit emotional. So tissues, they you'll go to. So pop that on your list if needs be. Tissues, right. Next one. Eyelash glue. Now this, this, one, this actually, gem. if I had wedding dress pockets, this would be in my wedding dress pocket because I wear eyelashes all the time and many a night <laughs> I've been flapping around. She has. <laughs> Jane, I need to go to the toilets now. And, and I'm like, that no, moment. You do. Yeah, but you don't wear them. You, if you wear them, you'll know. You have a moment and a night out where you're like, oh my God, my eyelashes flapping around. You get to the toilet, look in your handbag, you're like, oh, what if I haven't bought it? Yeah. I've eyelash seen, glue. I've seen her freak out. Trust me, if you wear eyelashes, take the glue. Right, so next up we have... Now, I think someone's gone rogue on this one. And I think it's you, Gemma. What is it? Hip flask. Yeah, right! <laughs> <laughs> now, what is an emergency, you might ask now, that you need a hip I flask I feel for? like oh, when I was on my wedding day and the nerves were all there, if I'd have gone, get my emergency hip flask out... What are you putting in it? I, okay, I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Can I have an espresso martini in there? <laughs> I can't do shots, so I wouldn't know what to put in it. Can you put Prosecco in it? When we flask? went to Wales on a hen do once, we took mm. a, a hip flask, didn't we? Yeah, and what cold. did we have in that? Port. We yes. had port. Actually, that was quite nice. Yes. And let's be okay. honest, we didn't care at that point. No, we did. It was you, were, you had your little lips round it. <laughs> I'm going to move on. Yeah. There's so many jokes. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, next one, Gemma. Yeah. <laughs> right. Plas plasters? Yes. Yeah, plasters. Uh, obvious. New shoes. New we don't shoes. want any ribbon. And, not to get like, it is getting an emergency, you cut your finger, you do not want to be spreading blood. What, you cut your finger on? I don't know, a knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm cutting the cake. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get blood on your wedding dress, is my point. Yeah, uh, to be <laughs> fair, yeah, because it's actually That's quite hard to get out. And... FYI, if you do get blood on your wedding dress, get it straight out. Cold water, you'll get out. So it's yeah. not as bad as you think it's going no, to be. No, but straight out. I do like to cut my hands, you see, so I know. A lot. Yes. Go on then. Right, next up, we have... Tape. Now, not your go-to tape. Yes. So if you've got a plunging <laughs> neckline and you want to make sure it's extra secure, you might want a bit of the tape here. I'm not going to get this all out. Don't panic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you might want to have a little bit of extra security, even if it's on the straps. So take or extra. Or like, you know, if it's got like a V back yeah. and you want a little bit there, so a little bit extra tape. Yeah, mm. so that is a good one. Yeah, right. Can you spread them on the floor like some animal? 
<laughs> now, someone told me about this the other day. Oh, yeah. And I, I hadn't even thought about this. And I was like, this is such a good one. It was back up, earring backs. So okay. if you yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so if you've got your just a, a normal set of earring backs, because actually if you think about it, everyone's hugging you yep. and you know the pulling back of your, your earring comes out. You're, you're most of the time you'll find your earring. You will always. I find feel it. like this is an emergency. Yeah, this is an emergency. <laughs> so if you've got those backs for for them, then you're safe to go. Now I'm going to throw it at Gemini. <laughs> right then. Hairspray. Now, I feel like if it's a humidity issue, I have this, Ooh. hairspray. <laughs> you know Monica from Friends. <laughs> yes. If it's a warm day, it's humid, you're going to want to add a little bit more hairspray to your do to make sure you're yeah. not going big. So, I mean, to be fair, there's only so much hairspray that would help well, your you hair on a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> would the mini bottles be enough? Yeah. But I feel like this is something I'd want to go straight into my hotel room, grab it quickly, and then I'm back out. Prosecco. Yeah. Like it. Right. Next. Quite a few in here, actually. Sun cream, I feel mm. like that's a pretty obvious one. You should already have it on, I would say. Yeah. But if you're having your photos done and it happens to be a really hot day, you can be out there for quite a while, actually. Yeah. Waiting so, for your photographs. Sun cream, if you've got a little bit extra. You no, one, yeah, no one wants a red face on another photograph. Imagine the end of the night. It's all, Everyone looks a little bit of a mess, what I did at the end of the night. Yeah. But then you've got red cheeks and forehead on top of that. Sun cream. I mean, put it all out. on beforehand, but... Right, then what have I got? Deodorant. Now, this might be your go-to, it's hot. Yeah. Little bit of a refresh and make you feel a bit better, I'm thinking. Many little bottle. Yeah. Just enough. It just freshens you up, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially if it's like for the night. And I mean, this doesn't need to be something you carry around all the time. No. But this could be something, if you know you're going to go up to your room at six o'clock to have a little freshen up, that everything's already in yeah. one bag. Yeah, not rummaging around your suitcase. Yeah. Like, Where's my deodorant? Yeah. So that's so, a good one. Obvious, but definitely worth thinking about. Ooh. You've got two. Oh, stain remover pen. Yes. Now... Again, you might not know where we're going with this. But, but as bridal shop owners. <laughs> you do. So you've got your macular ivory dress. It's a plain. It's simple. You mark a bit of makeup before you yes. even want to go out yeah. to the ceremony. Stain remover pens are really good at getting those um, stains out as quick as possible. Yeah. So imagine you've, you know, you've touched your makeup with your blusher, bits gone on your dress. If you're scared to go at it with soap and water, stain remover pens are really good for getting those marks up quickly. I mean, if someone spilt red wine all over your dress. That helps yeah. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> go on. Oh, it's me. What have we got? A brush. Why am I getting the hair on? Yes, because I've got so much hair. <laughs> Someone's telling you something. She bought brush a brush today. <laughs> Again, brush, if you need it. I wouldn't go anywhere near my hair with a brush once my style's done. But if you've got it down, it's straight. Yeah. And it brush helps. That's going to be one that yeah. you need it's to know. It's in your little bag or it's in the room ready to go if you need it. Yeah. Agreed. Right. Next. Perfume. Now, I don't... Obviously, it depends whether you want the one that you've already put on in the morning. But I feel like, you know, the little like travel bottles, or even if you can get those little bottles and you just put a little bit in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. mini bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you hold them like in a normal I size. <laughs> <laughs> little mini bottle, pop a little bit in, and then you Freshen can have a you bit up and you'll feel better. Yeah. Right, then next we have nail file. Now, we've all cut our nail or broken it and it's sharp. And you know how annoying it is. Yes, you're going to be catching it. And I'm going back to the whole dress situation. If you've got illusion that's really delicate, you catch yeah. it, you tear it. I feel like that is going to be something you need to have know yeah. where it is straight away because you don't be annoyed with nails breaking on the wedding day. Yeah. And, and you know, if you have like your acrylic nails or your dr gel nails, I feel like you need quite a good nail yeah. file. You know which ones I mean. Like yeah. Some of them do nothing, don't they, if it's your normal nail. But if it's yeah. fake nails, get a good one. Right, is it me? This emergency kit is really big. <laughs> <laughs> hay fever tablets, obvious. Now, I do get hay fever, so um, I took some in the morning on my wedding day anyway, just in case, but I think pop some in, and then if you have any sort of slight allergy or anything, just you've got it there, haven't yeah. you? See, some of them are really practical. Yeah. And some of them, them are just good fun. Flat. <laughs> <laughs> flat shoes. Now, we all like to think that our wedding shoes will stay on as long as you want but I was silly on my wedding day and we did mention this in another video about your like 15 things to think Massive about heels. yes <laughs> um I wore huge heels thinking that four inches would be fine I'm tall for the day and I, I don't like know why it. you did that because you didn't wear huge heels no, all I the didn't. time I didn't I just wanted to be tall 
Yeah, see, now I um, bought proper wedding shoes, which I feel like really stiff, like mm. not sandals or anything. I mean, I would never wear them now, but no. it was 10 years ago, so you did. And I literally lasted about an hour and a half. I feel like it's a good backup option. Yeah. Um, I, because I had to go barefoot. Yeah. Because I had nothing. I didn't have any you flip I, I don't know what happened. It's like, I don't care anymore. I'm married. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I look like I'm anymore. I'm the shelf. <laughs> so have a backup shoe. If you're wearing heels, great. And you can wear them all day. Brilliant. If not, it's worth maybe thinking about taking some nice flat shoes, some wedding ones with a bit yeah. of sparkle on. It's worth doing. On that note, right, this is going off piece a little okay. bit. But I feel like, you know... Um, you know, you get those little fold ones, those like really cheap yes. flat ones. I feel like for your guests, that's quite a nice little basket to have in the corner. FYI, if I'm a guest at anyone's wedding out there, I would have liked that option. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm right. I'm there for, yeah. Don't worry about yeah. me. <laughs> right. Next one is mini mirror. Really obvious, but you know, if you've got flapping eyelash and the toilet's away over the there. Eyelashes. Honestly, it's a thing, mate. You don't get it. It's a real problem. But you know, just have a little touch up of your makeup, or just before the photographer's about to catch some yes. pictures or something, you can just whip it out. Yeah. Next one. <clears throat> Lipstick. This would be me. Ovs. Yeah. <laughs> Lipstick. I think that should go to you know, ladies. You know. Yeah. We don't need to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my God, I thought it said Daracetamol. <laughs> Dar Paracetamol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, the thing is, is I get headaches quite easily. So I like to know that I've got something there. And mm. I might even take it, but I think, you know, when you haven't got something, then you really, really want it. Yeah. So chuck some Paracetamol or whatever you take. So if you get a bit of a headache or whatever, you've got something there. I feel like it's a really important one. I yeah. definitely have that. That would be in my handbag all the time. Yeah. I think it's me. It's you. It was me, wasn't it? Yeah. Take your turn. Hair grips. Again with the hair. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if you've got an updo, you might want the security of having a few extra grips to hand if anything starts coming out. I know the end of the wedding day, I had these beautiful little dainty grips. They were all over the dance floor. Yeah. They were just everywhere. And I was like, like Ooh! Ooh! Nice. <laughs> so I think have some extras, your backup, and I think that'll make you feel a bit better. Yeah. Bit security. Next one is lip balm so it's basically the same as your lipstick isn't it but depends on what you want to wear sometimes you don't you don't want to apply more lipstick you just want a bit of moisture but i feel like, yeah but and also with the lip balm i do think you've got to consider that if you've got a down do and you're outside having your pictures and you're all like stuck to your lips <laughs> it's not a good look ladies <laughs> yeah. right we're almost there concealer again this is like a go-to i feel like a little bit if you have breakout Concealer, ladies, you know, if you need it, you need it. Yeah, just put it in the bag. Next is... Now, this, this I feel you should explain. Money. Now, no... Good old-fashioned money. Yeah, you know the thing that you used to, like, give people? Yeah. Not a card? <laughs> so on my wedding day, I had my photographs, went straight to the bar and said, can I have a glass of Prosecco? I had no money. <laughs> Realised I was there, no pockets, no bag, no nothing. I, was like, I feel like your money should have been the dress. Well, hello! Do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> Pay for the wedding? <laughs> I mean, look, Len, all my friends are like, don't be silly, Jade, we'll buy you a drink. But if I'd managed to escape and have a quick first shot on my own, yeah. I can pay for that. So you've got options here. I would say go to run a bar tab if you with your venue. Where, yeah. right, basically, you know me, I'm in the white dress. This is my bar tab. And just or just have money on you or your yeah. card. I, I didn't think it through. No, I didn't. And I was really thirsty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, what we got next? Eyeliner, go to. I, we, we both wear yeah. eyeliner, don't we? So, and I mean, I hate to go back to the whole lash thing again, <laughs> but I'm gonna. <laughs> you know, I, I like my black eyeliner and then my lash over the top. Or sometimes, if your lash comes off and it takes a little bit of the eyeliner with it, I wouldn't know. I just like you eyeliner. Know. You know, you know, like no. She's off many of my eyeliner on a night yeah. out. <laughs> Not that pencil business. We need liquid. Yeah. <laughs> I've just got hair now. I think it's just <laughs> <laughs> I've obviously chopped the wrong bit off. I'm thinking, hmm. I'd go back to the whole just everything you need. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dry shampoo. Now it's so silly, but imagine you Gemma won't know, but I touch my hair loads. And if it's getting a little bit like greasy, almost a bit flat, dry shampoo. It wasn't that though. I wonder what that was. I'm calling it dry shampoo. Okay. <laughs> hair dry shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the last one. Oh, oh, this is mine. 
a snack, guys. Mm. I don't quite understand this one. She was like, a snack. I was like, yes, a snack. Because if I get hungry, I get angry. <laughs> and I feel a bit what sick. What would you have, more importantly? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Donuts. <Yeah. laughs> I'm really glad Jem's already married because I was a maid of honour. I'm carrying around a sandwich in my in my <laughs> sandwich. It needs to be a BLT, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't eat at my wedding. I just drank. Just a it. protein bar or yeah. a granola bar. Just something. Because you don't realise, obviously you're really nervous in the morning. You don't have a lot of breakfast. You don't drink a lot. Then they drag you around for photos for like four hours. Am I selling the day to you <laughs> on my day I felt like the photos went on for ages and my dress was really tight it was hot and I just remember thinking I just need something to eat and obviously the food we didn't come out to like two yeah so it, it was a long time snack I mean I'm not saying a full-on dinner but just a little bit of a snack yeah, roast dinner. calm down <laughs> <laughs> so there were things that we would consider packing in your survival kit as it were again you pick your top thing mine for me oh, it's probably concealer any type of lipstick, bar, I'm counting it all. Hair, I would go grit. It's all this, isn't it? <laughs> it's basically all this. My flat shoes, plasters. I mean, I've got quite a big size. Okay, right, you're here. going through the whole bag. You say I The whole big. bag. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd say pick your things and who you want to carry them. But I quite like the idea of having your like paracetamol, plasters, lipstick with maid of honour. Then you've got in your hotel room, wherever you've got ready, yeah. your bigger bits like to run up quickly, do that. I'm not rummaging around in my suitcase. What would yeah. yours be? Definitely eyelash glue. I, I think do, we yeah. all know that yeah. already. Um, my snack. <laughs> and my paracetamol, I think. Yeah. And maybe my lipstick, actually. She's yeah. not packing light. No, I'm not. I'm not well. do it. <laughs> <laughs> but pick your top things. Comment in below, like your top four or five. We'd love to hear. I mean, we went through quite a lot of these just re researching. Um, and there was a lot of like sewing kits and, and all mm. sorts. I ain't sewing my wedding dress on my day. Like, no. If I've ripped it, I've ripped it. Yeah, I'm it's just done, my fade and I'm dancing. Yeah. Unless your dancing. seamstress is there and she's yeah. your, your guest, <laughs> don't be touching that dress. So No, but comment on, on anything that you think actually we've missed out that's really important because we'd like to know as well. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.